okay so let's try to optimize this test now we were actually using dot products dot products dot products three times okay so instead of using it three times in general if it is traditional programming language we will actually throw this web element into one variable and we will call that variable every time instead of calling this multiple times but from last lecture we understood that you just cannot throw it into variable and if you want to do that you have to take care of headache of solving the promise so for that reason cypress guys gave as one command called aliasing okay so the command shortcut is as so let me show you that let's say first you selected this dot products and you can alias it dot as and you can give the name so it's just like giving that into one variable and like give any name to this product locator something like this so in your next steps when you are referring this dot products again and again you need not write this multiple times okay this is part of optimizing right tomorrow if this object is changed so that if you update in one place it should automatically update in all places isn't it that's the reason we throw that into one variable and we will call that variable only and because of that technical difficulties for this there is command called alias where you can act as a variable and now here you can actually at the rate and you can simply call this product locator name it will refer when it sees at the rate it cypress understands that this is aliasing and it will find for as command and whenever it matches it replaces this at this point okay that's the concept so wherever dot products is there you can simply replace like this so this is one alternate instead of having it in one variable as this is cypress command it takes care of resolving promise and then puts into one variable called product locator this is the alternate we have for making it centralized instead of declaring it multiple times okay so i don't want to explain this directly you will not appreciate the importance of this alias so in the last lecture after knowing about what is promise what is non cypress asynchronization after knowing everything you will think that okay this is helping us to have act like a variable so that i need not declare every time again and again okay looks good i can again run this command and see how it goes i should actually comment this because this will not work yeah save the project and make sure it's working fine without any breaking looks good and you did not get any issue out there so you understood the importance of the alias command okay so whenever you want to whenever you see multiple locators different again and again declare once so that you can reuse it multiple times and now i want to explain you the difference between logging and console log in javascript console.log will print something in your output terminal but in cypress where does it print in any automation language it could be selenium protractor or apm if you print something like this in java system.outprintln in javascript console.log when the test is ran you will see logs here but with cypress as cypress run your test directly on the browser okay i have explained you in the beginning right how different it is from selenium architecture it runs directly on your browser so that console dot log whatever you prints let's say sf that will get printed in the developer tools let me go to developer tools and in the console it will print here you see that sf is printed so the console whatever you are trying to print will see in your browser console logs okay 
and that's why when you try to print something in output in selenium or protractor you will see in your test case output in your editor okay because the way web driver works is different but cypress directly works on your browser without any network proxy or without any json external uh, apis so that's why the, all the console will be logged in the tab so now re rerun this test you see that sf got printed okay so this is how you will um, can understand printing the console but there is another method called cy.log the logging here is exactly the same but the commands you will see it here okay as it is log is a command related to cypress console.log is not related to cypress that's the reason look at here this will print immediately when test started run it again and you will see sf on the screen okay without browser loading itself you are seeing sf on your console so that means url is trying to hit but then only this got printed why i know i agree this happens because cypress is asynchronous it will not guarantee in sequential order every step is executed at a time that's why that got printed but cypress has to take care right by putting in that sequence it will take care but step number 20 is not related to cypress console.log is a pure javascript printing option that's why cypress did not touch that so obviously that became asynchronous and it printed immediately okay and cy.log this method is sing, uh, cypress command so it has taken care of that sequence and that's the reason it's printing in the last i hope now you are slowly understanding concepts when cypress goes in goes into a toss with random execution when there is non cypress involved now this is non cypress but i want to run it in the sequence what to do so that means you have to manually resolve promise so you have to clearly tell that click after clicking then only so that means you have to give information that after resolving this step then only print this you have to put like this so manually you are telling that this step should execute after resolving the promise of step number 19 click so that this will get executed now only after it clicks on add to cart so we were manually writing and resolving using then just because this is non cypress command okay now save it and look at it's not printing it's not printed yet watch it it's not yet there it's um it will come now yeah you see that sf got printed now now sequence is guaranteed because we are manually handing it okay if if it is cypress command then you need not write all this but unfortunately it is not so you have to manually declare it the same concept whatever i told earlier just because text method is jquery and you have to manually resolve it and solve all right now you understood the difference between this log and this log this will print it in your console but this will print in your test runner information again let us now if you want to put assertion to verify if green cart is the value displaying as expected or not here you are just printing right but your ultimate aim is not to just print in your output you want to compare that with your expected value and if it matches with actual value then only it works now so let me write that step cy dot get dot brand right so this is one way let me write comments this is to print in logs and now we were trying to asset if text logo text correctly displayed 
ideally when you are writing automation test you have to have assertion to compare that with expected value just to make sure whatever you see on the screen is correct or not again so for assertion if you go up i have explained you that you can do that with the should so this is assertion number 2 what i am teaching now should have you are telling that this locator should have a text which is nothing but green cart is the same yeah green cart okay it's so simple right and don't worry about this is not cypress how do i handle this should belongs to chai library and that takes care of all the assertions okay so in assertion every promise is automatically handled so you just don't worry about uh, any promises if you already on should okay this looks so simple and this is self explanatory right basically you want to know whether this locator is having text of green cart or not for that you will write this is an expected what you are expecting the actual should come here so in chai we can call that as should have text which is equals to this and here have dot length so this is common only this varies for length property you will say whether this element should have length of 4 and here whether this element should have text of green cart so this is how you put an assertion okay save it and i think execution have is not defined oh i know why you have to put that in quotes nice now it will work and you can see it's all console log okay so assertion got passed and if you see that it's very clear that expected to have text green cart which is true and that got passed so this is how you can actually assert text in cypress you can print text in cypress and you can use alias to reuse locators without calling every time but the way you reuse is different from any other languages you use concept of aliasing to reuse and also non cypress commands cannot resolve properties by themselves and you have used this okay so the concepts what we learned aliasing to reuse locators this is the new concept what we learned and the logs is just it prints an output so that's not the core concept of cypress all right guys that's all i have for this lecture and see you with few more topics in the next lecture thank you